I want to take a quick look at the new Safari Montage version 7. We've incorporated a lot of user feedback, created a new look, and added lots of helpful features. The first thing you'll notice, of course, is the dashboard, a much cleaner and simpler interface, really designed to allow users to choose their own path into the Safari Montage Learning Object Repository, the LoRa. The dashboard gives you easy access to the most frequently used aspects of the system, search, upload, my files, playlists, live school news, and your LMS and other applications that are integrated with Safari Montage. Now one of the great new features introduced in version 7 is the new Microsoft integration, which provides a federated search of your OneDrive and single sign-on to Microsoft Apps. This is in addition to the existing integration and single sign-on with Google Apps and federated search of Google Drive. Just remember that users will only see what they have access to. Let's take a quick look at the search function in version 7. Right away you'll see again, much cleaner, but I want to point out that quick search is always still available at the top of all screens. Performing a search has been simplified with three main simple filters, keyword, grade range, and publisher. Those three are always at the top of your search page, but you still have advanced search options available by expanding the filters right here. Your federated search results, as always, are organized into tabs by format. You'll see that search results are presented more cleanly than ever before with metadata and options to play the resource or easily add it to a playlist or lesson. You can also share to Google Classroom if you're using Google integration or add the resource to an LMS like Canvas or Schoology, again, depending on what you're using. So there's the new look and feel of the search function. Now let's go back to the dashboard and take a look at playlists in version 7. Again, right away you'll see a much cleaner and easier to navigate playlist page. The big change in playlists is that we've created two new views. So you now have options as to how you want to view your playlist. There's classic view, which is best for teachers to create and edit playlists. There's teacher view and student view. Teacher view is designed to make it as easy as possible to prepare for a lesson, make last minute tweaks to a playlist, and launch into presentation view. Amphibians breathe in a very interesting way. You can preview the notes on each learning object by hovering over its title. There are action menus in Teacher View for both playlists and learning objects to easily edit and update the information on each, again improving the teacher user experience. Let's take a look at Student View in version 7. You'll see right away that the Safari Montage Media Player opens up in the majority of the screen and each of the playlist resources display at the bottom in large thumbnails and easy to select each resource and move through the playlist. And notice that as the user moves through the playlist, the associated notes and comments on the right side update with each item. Okay, back to the dashboard. I want to note that in version 7, Learning Object Repository customers can now use the popular View and Chat feature. That's a student engagement tool that allows teachers to initiate live, moderated text chatting with students during in-class video playback. Very cool feature. This view and chat feature will evolve significantly, along with other planned enhancements to version 7. There's a lot more to come. So there's a quick look at the new features in Safari Montage. We're really excited about version 7. We hope you are too.